Say his name. Yes. What's his name? Yes. Say his name. Yes. Say his name. Yes. The last time I was out here for Justice for He and Jong, what happened after the family spoke was I saw several people break down in tears, inconsolable. And as you just saw a woman up here crying inconsolably. That is the loss. That is the grief. That is the void that somebody leaves when police steal a life. Usually we're up here talking about young black men or young men of color, and we talk about the potential. We talk about the life that they could have had. But today we're talking about a man who led an entire life and left behind kids, left behind grandkids, left behind sisters and brothers, left behind nephews and nieces. We're here to talk about a man that is an encyclopedia. Dia Zhong put his life on the line in the secret war and he lost his hearing as a result of it. And in losing that hearing, police did not treat him like a human and adhere to that possibility that he couldn't hear them. Nu Shu Cha and Abdurrahman Dahir were supposed to be diversity hires. They were supposed to bring in cops of color to be better able to address communities of color. And what happened? They gunned down a 65-year-old grandfather. A senior citizen in the Winslow apartments that are supposed to house house disabled people and people over the age of 62. That's right. Think of your grandparents. Think of your grandparents, y'all, and how far they've come to be here. A lot of our grandparents stood on the edge of a dime, stood in wars, stood against law enforcement, and stood for a lot of things just to be alive. And you make it all that way just to get gunned down by an AR-15, by a police officer that's only been here for six months. If John Troy can't levy charges against those officers, he can at least come out here and stand with the family. Some elected officials are out here, and that's great, but some are not. And the least they can do is come out here and stand with the families. If Amy Brendeley can write a blank check to defend two cops that killed Marcus Golden, she can come out here and answer to the people. St. Paul owes you. St. Paul owes you. Your tax dollars have gone into this, and they took the life of a 65-year-old man. Somebody say, that ain't right. right. Somebody say, that ain't right. right. That That ain't right. That ain't right. He lived his whole life to live up to that moment. And now it's incumbent upon everybody here to carry his story. That's right. Carry Ye and Sean's story. It's incumbent upon us because the people that we pay for in elected official seats, some of them won't. The people that we pay to hold guns and police our communities, they won't. It's up to us to carry Ye and Sean's story. And even if you weren't related to him, it's still incumbent upon you as a community member to do that. So I'll, I'll finish off with saying this. Say his name. Yes, Say his name. Yes, Say his name. Yes, Say his name. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the next. Um,